I'm uh, Dean Carlson and I have a sustainable farm in Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. Well, we're processing our first batch of chickens for the summer. Um, it's about 190 freedom rangers. Part of the idea of the farm is that I want people to have a connection with where their food comes from. And a big part of that is the processing end of it. I think um, it would be a rather unique thing in today's food system to be able to say that I know how the animal spent each day of its life, what it ate each day, and especially how it ended its life, because there's a, there's a big difference in the way that we will process here and the way things get done on an industrial scale. When, uh, when your animals go to a, a large slaughtering facility, you lose all control over how they're treated at the very end, and there are, you know, there's a lot of stress involved with moving animals. And so if we can do it here, we can minimize the stress to them, and then we can control how the process of slaughter actually happens, and then what happens to the meat afterwards. Uh, my name's Philip. <laughs> first, we're taking them out of the crates here. What do we need? The cones, head first. Cut the head off right above the, the top of the neck. They bleed for about 15, 20 seconds. Um, after the chickens have been uh, stopped moving for about five minutes, uh, we take them out and put them into the scolder, which is 150 degrees, and for about 45 seconds to 50 seconds. Uh, that just loosens up the feathers from the skin. Um, where after they come out of the scolder, I put them in the plucker for about uh, one minute or until all the feathers come off. I cut the feet off and take the tail feathers out. I think as a chef and as an instructor, it's really important for me to have that experience and to wield the knife, I think um, it brings you a lot closer to the food. Uh, you have a sense of the value of the animal. It's pretty intense. You know, you either turn it off, uh, remove yourself from the situation, or you put your whole self into it. We cook food, we provide nourishment, these animals provide nourishment for us, for our customers. Um, and so that is an act of love. So they give their lives for that. Um, not to sound too wishy-washy, uh, but this is what we do as chefs.